They're not here for us. Hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. I'm in my $600 Jeep right now, but I'm headed over to Sports Car Workshops to meet the boys because Rover Rescue is back. Yeah, we got that, uh, that manual disco, but tonight Troy found a P38A. That's right, a second generation Range Rover. And we're headed up to, I think he said Northern Virginia to pick it up. It's Friday night, it's like six o'clock. Let's see if we can get this done before dark. Now the traffic's not gonna be great, we know that, but we're gonna try to limp this thing home. He says it's mint, which means it probably has holes in the frame the size of Big Macs. Stay tuned, Rover Rescue. Oh, I didn't realize that Steely's, that's pretty cool. So do you have a key to it or are we just meet someone here? He's probably walking down. He lives oh, okay. in apartments or something, uh, so okay. he's got no parking for it. Uh, okay. Well, welcome to Alexandria, y'all. We, we found it. It's a Runga over. Headlight wipers. If those don't work, you can't buy it. It's got to work. I do you like the steels? Yeah, the interior looks really nice. Sat nav. Marine owned this. Yeah, it's got a Tennessee thing on it. Someone said it came from Tennessee. This looks pretty cool, y'all. So this is a Westminster edition. That you said that's just fancy leather, or no? It's whole package. Whole it's a whole package. package. And the 4.6. Yep, it's got a tow package, dual exhaust. I it, it, I don't think I've ever Hi. seen one of these on Steelys. This looks good. Inside. Yeah, I want to see this fancy leather. Oh wow, it is kind of almost rushed. The black trim package. Yeah, the piano expensive. black. This is such a huge yeah. improvement over the the classics of the on the interior. Oh wow, it, it does have a satin out. It's crazy. Love box. Airbags, seat memory, well, seat works. They said that the radiator looked like it had been replaced, so I didn't touch that. Take a look at the back seat here. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rushed leather. Wow. Very fancy. Lucky 8 wheels. We hung out with the Lucky 8 guys at the MAR last year in October. I'll link to that video above when we did the uh, Mid-Atlantic Rally with the Range Rover and Land Rover folks. That was awesome. Same guys I'm here with were on that trip. Yeah, the dash is really in good shape. I mean, all the buttons seem to be there. Well, front and rear fog lights, gauges. Uh, that's, this is just coming from a classic that's just a couple years older. This is light years ahead of that 1970 design. So yeah, this has the 4.6, so different intake to what I'm used to in my 4.2. He did put a brand new battery on it, but yeah, this is very similar to what I, there's the air suspension. Looks pretty good under here. Again, pretty similar to mine, except it's got one belt instead of, I don't know, mine has like four belts or something stupid, and I've got to replace them. That's on the list of stuff to do after I finally finish my wood trim re uh, replacement, and that's going to take another million years. We need to get on the road soon because it's, it's getting dark, and uh, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot of filming when it gets dark. Range Rover quality. Let's see, 123,353 miles. Uh, the AC is missing some pixels. Probably BMW. That doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. Uh, look, no bad lights on. He did say the AC works, but it takes about 10 minutes for the AC to kick on. But hey, we'll be needing it tonight because I'm riding back in this. So quiet and smooth. So quiet and smooth. Why can't mine be that quiet? I know, I need new exhaust manifolds. It's beautiful. All right, sitting in it. I see. Oh yeah. You still, you have that up high feeling from the classic. Oh yeah. Um, feels like the heated seat is on even. So this is an unusual vehicle for Rover Rescue because this thing is pretty well sorted. It's running, it's idling nicely, it's quiet. The air conditioning will eventually work. The interior is in good shape. So uh, I must heartily apologize. This is not much of a rescue. Um, someone's gonna be rescued though, I think, in that uh, Ambo that's going past slowly. Anyway, uh, hopefully you can hear me again. This is one of the nicest vehicles that we've ever had come into Rover Rescue, if not the nicest vehicle on Rover Rescue. So again, I hardly apologize. However, it is a Land Rover. 
and we have about 100 miles to drive in summertime heat back to Richmond from here. So anything can go wrong, which is why we've got the LR3 as our backup vehicle, just in case, because that's, that's doing pretty well. All right, we're gonna get on the road here in a second and see if we can get this thing home. We did it in the disco with the five speed with no clutch. So this would be a cinch. First drive impression here. Let's see if any of these lights go off on the dash. No, they won't. Oh, they, they won't? Have a, a wheel speed sensor that's out. Oh, okay. Well, those are fairly cheap. Try the low range too. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's over here. You just switched yeah. over here, right? Yeah. It's kind of cool. Let's go, uh, let's go to the dealer lot. Oh, totally. Are we, can we drive over the, <laughs> do they have the, the crazy incline thing to drive over? Um, yeah, was, oh yeah, the one the one at my in Westchester used to have that. The one in Midlothian does, I think, but really? I bet this one does. Yeah, because I've been over it. There's a T100 right there. It's still being used, long bed, four wheel drive. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, now we gotta go. Some rubber smells, you know? Well, it's. It's the, it's the Westminster leather, the the rushed leather like on that 7 Series you had. Okay, that's good. Can't believe we already have to go to the dealer on this thing. Hope the parts counter is still open. First time actually seeing one of these in person. Yeah, I've never seen one. I yet. mean, it does look good. It says the 110 on the hood, that's cool. Is it a first edition? I don't Probably. Know. I, don't know what I think the white ones were first. Well, it's yeah, got all the crap ones. on it. It's the box on the side and everything. Alexandria. Well, you can just drive on those rocks right there. And we got to take the we got to take the Instagram picture, folks. Perfect. That's what they're doing. That's, That's a pretty cool on. light they have on there. Uh, the roof rack. I wonder if this have a. I wonder how. I'll take a gander at the window sticker here and see if we can see how much it goes for. Eighty-four thousand dollars. Wow. That's a pretty expensive disco. It's got the diamond plate or checker plate or whatever they call it in the UK. I would say that's pretty pretty fully optioned. Look at these uh, tags here. Oh, it's got a low jack? I didn't they still made those. Care of your luxury leather upholstery. I bet it's not Westminster luxury leather upholstery like, like this is. With the rushed leather. No rushed leather on the hardcore off-roader. Which is 84 grand and will never leave the, the parking lot. Does it, does it go over? Oh, it sounds like reverse. Oh, hey, oh, now it's yeah. over. Alright, cut that light off. Alright, well. That's like in rock crawl or something. Yeah, it, I works. mean, it moves. Yeah. yeah. It's, Good it's to know. Just, uh, weird to actually. Right, yeah, cool. that's. Well, I guess you can't accidentally do it. Right. <laughs> that's for sure. It's too bad the screen doesn't display oh. uh, anything except. What's it? Select neutral. It's flashing now. All right, I think you're good now because yeah, no, this side I did was too, lit up. Yeah. I did it too quick. I could hear the transfer case. Yeah, there was some kind of grinding noise. Super happy. Mm -hmm. Masonic Temple is lit up, and we can get on the Beltway and hopefully get some cool air. Well, we made it back. Different driver, but <laughs> completely uneventful. AC worked fine and. Hey, the gate's even opening. Can you make the turn? <laughs> That's a great question. Probably not. Poor race car. Yeah, I wouldn't want to make that turn in my Range Rover. I would not be happy at all. But... I mean, the, the AC is actually nice. really cold. Nice. We made it. 100 miles in comfort the rushed leather seats. <laughs> this was a pretty fun trip. And unlike any other rover rescue video ever, because this isn't a rescue, this was just a rover road trip. Well, let's pull inside and see if we can see anything in the lights of the shop. Is there even an R class in here? That's interesting. Oh, it's a 500, wow. It's not the AMG, but. Well, you're already adding to the value? Oh yeah. What sticker is that one? Low speed, high drag. I don't know. Okay. Expedition. Oh, you gotta leave the Expedition Overland one on. 
Westminster. Oh, yeah. It's funny because in the, the paperwork that came with the car, it already had lights that were replaced. But the actual lenses, I, I don't know why he had those replaced, but they, they must be very fragile. I mean, he, and he threw in all this stuff too. It's like a table and there's a really nice snow broom in here with an extension. Ooh, cup holders and the armrest. Fancy. Very cool. Another toolbox. And these door handles are really nice and luxurious and soft and leathery. And I do like the Lucky 8s. They do look good on this. I've never seen Steelys on one of these. And glass headlights are never going to go bad. Unless they crack. It smells like a BMW in here. Yeah, <laughs> it is a BMW. <laughs> All right, where do you think the... Is there a panel that says that? It's usually marked. Yeah. Could be, uh, does this side panel here pop off too? Maybe? Yeah, I think it's down there. Uh, okay. They usually are. I'm going to run the codes on this and see what the uh, codes are. Unpimp my ride. Ride is unpimped. Yeah, let's see what the codes this thing comes up with. Two thousand years later. This thing takes a while. Yeah. I can do your chainsaw massacre. Is it battery card? Yeah. There's a charger somewhere. You got some Tennessee plates if you want I know. Honor One code. Yeah. That way. Wow. Driver airbag circuit, passenger airbag circuit, front impact sensors, short circuit fault, and SOS warning light. Yeah. That doesn't sound great. Well, y'all, uh, we knew there was a problem with the airbag, and you know that's something that can be looked into. But that is a successful rover rescue. We made it back, and everything worked fine and that we needed and uh, other than the radio of course but we we happened to have a bluetooth speaker that was thrown in with the deal in the glove box accidentally which worked out great so another successful rover rescue even though this was like i said a road trip so thanks y'all so much for watching ducks cars please like share and subscribe and i will look forward to seeing you soon with another video thanks again so much for watching y'all